One of the biggest assets to job site productivity is the efficient movement of material. The mobility of this type of equipment, the lifting capacity and height, means you, the operator, need to be knowledgeable on the operation of telescopic handlers. Throughout this video, we will be using these symbols that emphasize danger. An extremely hazardous situation exists on or near the vehicle, which will result in a high probability of death or serious injury if the proper precautions are not taken. Warning. A hazard exists on or near the vehicle which can result in serious injury or death if the proper precautions are not taken. Caution is a reminder of safety practices or to direct your attention to unsafe practices on or near the vehicle which could result in personal injury if the proper precautions are not taken. Watch for these symbols. You will also see them in one of the most important documents necessary for the safe operation of the telescopic handler, the operator's manual. It is a permanent part of the vehicle. Read it before you operate the vehicle. Inspect your vehicle daily, including verification that the load chart, as well as all instruction and safety labels are in place and readable. Be sure no safety switches or devices have been bypassed. Check for warning tags that may have been placed on the unit by a previous operator. The condition of the tires is critical, so look for cracks or cuts and refer to the manufacturer's manual for proper inflation. If the tires require ballast material, be sure it is filled to the proper level in all four tires. An overall inspection for cracked welds, metal fatigue, and fluid leaks assures you that safe operation is in your hands. Never use forks that have been modified and do not exceed the combined capacity stamped on each fork. Never fill the fuel tank with the engine running while near an open flame or when smoking. Know where fire extinguishers are kept on the worksite. Proper fluid levels, including engine oil, hydraulic fluid, and engine coolant should also be checked prior to operation. A walk around of the work site allows you to see the conditions you will encounter moving material. Check for overhead wires and their height compared to the maximum lift height of the vehicle. Contact with electrically charged wires is extremely dangerous and will result in serious injury or death. Excavations, grade changes, underground culverts, loose backfill, and fuel supplies stored on site need to be identified and avoided or dealt with properly. Remember, safety is the responsibility of the operator. Taking charge of your safety means starting the workday with the right attitude, good physical condition, proper safety gear, and a vehicle properly prepared for the job. Don't take chances. Your well-being, as well as other workers around you, is at stake. Handholds or steps are provided for safe entry. Always maintain a three-point contact when climbing on or off the vehicle. Buckling up is not an option when operating a rough terrain vehicle. It is a requirement. Adjust the seat and seat belt for comfort before starting the engine. Establish a safe routine that you follow each time the vehicle is started. This routine will include ensuring that the transmission lever and all other control levers are in neutral. The parking brake is fully applied and that no one is standing between the wheel and the frame in front or behind the vehicle. The fork carriage should be resting on the ground. Adjust mirrors and check visibility completely around the vehicle. When low batteries cannot start the engine, consult your operator's manual for recommended practices that may include jump-starting from another power source. Be aware that batteries represent an explosive source and check the battery manufacturer's recommended practices for jump-starting. In no case is the vehicle to be push or pull started. Hydraulic functions, including steering, brakes, and boom controls, are dependent on the engine for power. A quick run-through of the machine's functions with the telescopic handler at rest 
will ensure proper operation. Never check for hydraulic leaks when the engine is running. Pressurized hydraulic fluid can penetrate the skin, causing serious injury or death. So use cardboard when checking for leaks. Now is the time to check the vehicle's steering functions. Refer to the vehicle's lift chart positioned within view of the operator in the cab. This chart explains the vehicle's capacity at different heights and distances in front of the front tires. The ability of a telescopic handler to lift is based on a principle of two weights balanced on either side of a pivot point. Factors affecting this balance are the weight of the vehicle, the load to be lifted, and the center of gravity. The center of gravity is the single point about which the vehicle is balanced in all directions. The stability of the telescopic handler is determined by the location of its center of gravity, or if the vehicle is loaded, by the combined center of gravity. Because a telescopic handler has moving parts, the center of gravity moves as the boom moves forward or backward, up or down, or even when the forks are tilted forward and backward. Surface conditions and tire pressure can also affect the center of gravity along with dynamic forces, such as acceleration, braking, turning, and operating on inclines. Remember when traveling on the worksite that an unloaded telescopic handler will tip over to the side easier than a loaded vehicle with its load in the lowered position. Never drive a telescopic handler with the boom raised. Lifting capacities are calculated using a 24-inch load center. When lifting loads, insert the forks all the way, inspect the material for stability, and secure the load prior to lifting. Place the heavier items on mixed loads near the fork carriage. On machines equipped with stabilizers, refer to the lift chart to identify at which heights and forward reach they must be in the down position to handle loads safely. Remember when using attachments, refer to load charts supplied with each attachment. Use only attachments authorized by the telescopic forklift manufacturer. Your vehicle may be equipped with a quick attach feature, which allows attachments to be changed without tools. Follow the instructions for carriage removal in your operator's manual and visually inspect that secure attachment or detachment has been made. A feature that helps to stabilize a telescopic handler and its load is frame leveling. Always level before lifting. Never use the frame leveling function when the boom is raised as the vehicle can tip over. In congested areas, increase your scanning and stay to the right on construction roads. Scan your path of travel for people, hazards, and other vehicles. Keep helpers and other workers away from the load when lifting and never allow riders. Start slowly and test the brakes and steering. Operate the vehicle smoothly with no jerky movements which could cause the load to shift. Transport the load as low as possible and utilize the carriage back tilt function to prevent the load from sliding. Travel slowly with the boom fully retracted and be ready to make adjustments with the frame tilt if you encounter a side slope. Avoid sloping ground if possible and do not drive on excessively steep slopes. When ascending or descending slopes, keep the load pointing up the slope and approach the hill straight on at 90 degrees. When unloaded, travel only with the forks or attachment downhill. When descending, use low gear or low range to permit engine compression to assist the brakes in controlling vehicle speed. If you must drive on a slope, Keep the load low and proceed carefully. Avoid turning on an incline. And if you must, keep the turn wide and slow. If you feel the vehicle tipping, stay in your seat with the seat belt fastened. Brace yourself and lean away from the impact. Do not attempt to jump. Make sure that the surface can support the weight of the telescopic handler and load and that the structure where you are landing the load can support the weight safely. 
Position the vehicle so that the load can be placed without driving it into place. Never drive a telescopic handler with the boom raised. Place the vehicle's transmission in neutral and set the parking brake. Level the vehicle before lifting. Use the boom's telescoping action and forward movement to gently place the load. Feather the controls by partially opening them. Never move the levers all the way to their stops unless you expect fast and full function. Reverse this procedure to carefully withdraw the forks. Lower the boom before you back away. Special situations require extra caution, such as when entering a building with a vehicle. Overhead clearance must be checked with the boom in the carry position. Also, allow time for your eyes to adjust to different lighting. The telescopic handler should not be used to elevate personnel. Park the vehicle on solid level ground. If this is not possible, park at a right angle to a slope, set the brake, and chalk the wheels. Always place the transmission in neutral. Apply the parking brake. Lower the fork carriage and turn the ignition switch off. Never leave the cab with the engine running. Loading a telescopic handler on a transport vehicle or trailer requires the skills of an experienced operator. Always use ramps of adequate strength that provide a low angle. Once the vehicle is loaded, lower the boom, set the brake, remove the key, and secure the machine properly using tie-downs. This concludes our orientation to telescopic handlers. Practice the procedures discussed in this video and study the operator's manual prior to attempting operation in actual worksite situations. Good operating practices ensure maximum productivity from you and your vehicle.